Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today, I have returned to the sea to talk about one of the most fascinating cases of convergent evolution. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Ophthalmosaurus. Ophthalmosaurus means eye lizard and is a member of the Ophthalmosaur family, who is a carnivore that lived during the late Jurassic in the Americas and Europe. Ophthalmosaurus is around 20 feet long, making it around the size of a great white shark. The first thing that many people notice about Ophthalmosaurus and other ichthyosaurs is how much they look like dolphins. This is another case of convergent evolution, which I have previously mentioned in both of my marsupial videos. In this case, Ophthalmosaurus is a reptile that evolved a similar body plan to dolphins, which are mammals, not fish. I just need to clear that up because it's honestly annoying how many people still think that they're fish in this day and age. Anyway, Ophthalmosaurus' most notable feature was its large eyes that took up the majority of its face. The size of these eyes seem to indicate that Ophthalmosaurus hunted in low-light conditions, with the current accepted theory being that it hunted in deep water. This makes a lot of sense, as hunting in that deep of water would help it avoid confrontation with surface predators like sharks or pliosaurs. Ophthalmosaurus is also notable for the fact that several fossils have been found showing baby Ophthalmosaurus is still in their mother's womb, indicating that it gave live birth. Ophthalmosaurus was, was a part of the group of animals called ichthyosaurs, which were a large and diverse group of reptiles that first appeared around the same time that the first dinosaurs did. Some other notable ichthyosaurs include Ichthyosaurus itself, which is where the group got its name from, Shastasaurus, which is currently believed to have been the biggest marine reptile ever, the almost as big Shonisaurus, and Symbospondylus, which looked more like a Mosasaur than an Ichthyosaur, but we do know that they were still Ichthyosaurs. Unfortunately, Ichthyosaur populations massively decreased in the Cretaceous, possibly due to more competition considering things like Mosasaurs were starting to evolve. So far, not a single Ichthyosaur is known to have survived till the mass extinction. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the card. Wow, this is a pretty good card, actually. In fact, there's nothing wrong with the creature design-wise, but rather there are two errors that this card makes that come from the text. On the back of the card, it claims that Ophthalmosaurus was an ancestor to dolphins. Even though, as I stated earlier, the two groups were unrelated, Ophthalmosaurus did not evolve into dolphins, and dolphins did not evolve from ichthyosaurs. Dolphins evolved from land mammals that returned to the ocean that eventually lost their legs, while Ophthalmosaurus was an ichthyosaur which evolved from reptiles that had the same thing happen to them. They're just two animals that happen to evolve the same body plan. They are not related. Also, the back of the card makes it seem like Ophthalmosaurus was an, was an apex predator of the Jurassic Seas. No, it was not. Those would have been the Pliosaurs and the Plesiosaurs. Oh, in fact, Ophthalmosaurus most likely fell prey to Pliosaurs. So, this whole ruled the ocean in, in groups thing is uh, not right. In fact, we don't even have any evidence that Ophthalmosaurus went, went in groups. For all we know, they could have been solo animals like sharks. Overall, I give this card an 8 out of 10. Now let's look at some appearances of ichthyosaurs in pop culture. Ophthalmosaurus appears in the mobile game Jurassic Park Builder. Its skeleton is a collectible item in, the, in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It appears in the third episode of Walking with Dinosaurs, which was an episode talking about sea life during the Mesozoic. An ophthalmosaurus named... Mo is one of the central characters of Land Before Time, who gives a crap. And Ophthalmosaurus appeared in Dinosaur Train. I normally don't bring this show up since, uh, since I usually try not to include educational media. I just wanted to bring it up here because I wanted to point out that they gave it the colors of a clownfish. That's all. As for other Ichthyosaurs, Ichthyosaurus appears as a shootable animal in the Jurassic Park arcade game. They're adoptable animals in Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder. They appear as non-killable enemies in the Jurassic Park NES game. And they appear in Ark Survival Evolved as tameable animals. Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder also features the, the Ichthyosaur Shonisaurus. Shonisaurus return in Jurassic Park Builder. And this game also features Shostasaurus. The Walking with Dinosaur spin-off Sea Monsters featured an episode talking about Symbospondylus. 
And the last thing I want to talk about is this guy from Ice Age 2. Since uh, some sources insist that he's supposed to be an ichthyosaurus, even though he looks more like a Metrionychus or something. But a lot of media is very persistent on the idea that he's an ichthyosaur. But I'm sorry, I just don't see it. I know that the Ice Age franchise likes to play fast and loose with paleontology, but uh, this is not an ichthyosaur. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when we stick in the ocean to talk about to talk about the Australian Lyplorodon. Bye.